Okay, and we're back. Before we go to the war table, we let's see if Josephine has anything to say. A petition from citizens of Valroyo. They wish to know what Andraste said to you in the faith. They think she spoke to me. Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. Hmm. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fade. You could attempt to tell Valroyo citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. Uh... Fuck it. Keep him in bliss. Tell these petitioners Andraste said she cares for us always as she walks by the Maker's side. A fine sentiment. We will have it proclaimed in Valroyo. The way I look at it, you know, telling them this shit, A, they're either going to deny it, if I were to say that Andraste doesn't speak for me, because everybody seems to accept it. If, if they aren't in the know, that's what they want to believe. There's nothing I can really do to convince them otherwise. So, fuck it. Might as well keep them happy. Okay, so escape routes for agents in Crestwood. Uh... The tunnels are complete and our agents slip in and out of Kyrbranash like shadows. The workmen who are digging out the caves discovered some old dwarven items there as well. Mundane things such as pots and furniture, but they bought a fair price among some collectors. Liliana. Or I think that said brought. Anyway. Uh, outfitting the crew. Thank you for the indulgence. I've outfitted Sutherland and his small crew in equipment. Uh, more appropriate to agents of the Inquisition. Given their humble origins, it is doubtful they have ever seen the likes, Sir Morris. We have one more over here, I think. Yeah, we do. House Amladaris. Uh, the reaction from House Amladaris was so quick and vehement, it can only mean they're known about, or, sorry, they've known about this scandal in their family tree for some time. Centuries, perhaps. Their first responses were threats, but after being assured of our serious intent, they quickly changed their tune. Several retainers arrived with a letter for you. Josephine, the le uh, retainer's letter. My dear Inquisitor, naturally, these accusations of a connection to those old legends are without merit. And even if that weren't the case, it would have little meaning to my family today. We are venture citizens of good standing, uninterested in whatever this Corypheus has to offer. And we'll support the Inquisition in its efforts to fight this creature however however we may. Magister Arion of ha uh, House Amladaris. I got a Master Spirit rune out of that. That's pretty fucking awesome. Okay, so we have three new objectives to assign. What should we go for? Red Jenny attends a party. Alright. Who goes for that? We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Surely the Inquisitor cannot be a part of such things. It seems a base prank to intentionally disrupt such an, uh, uh, such an affair. A memo from Josephine written on a letter from Sarah. This guy is a special prick. Swats his people around, thinks his sovereigns pay for it. Embarrass him at his own party, and you please a dozen people. People with keys and little else. Sarah. A date and time are scribbled below, also an Orlesian mask with other masks for eyes. Uh, this sounds right up Josephine's alley, so it is trivial to ensure we are represented, but should we encourage such base behavior? Inquisitor. Okay, so. Ooh, what's all the way over here? A missing assassin. Sounds like something for Liliana. My dear Liliana, your Inquisition is working with the Crows? I ask only because I may have removed one of the Assassins from your employ. If I'd known the man was yours, I would have at least let him finish the contract. No matter, allow me to make it up to you. You know I would do a much better job than the Crows, and I am far more pleasing to work with, no? As a favor to a friend, I'll only charge a fraction of the price. Zevran... Uh, yeah, but anyway. Uh, okay. Liliana says Zevron would be a useful ally. We can funnel resources to him while normal, uh, nominally maintaining our alliance with the crows. Let's see what we have. Right, Hard in Hightown. That's a Liliana thing. Reparations is probably something Josephine would want to handle. Uh. Let's see. Protection. That would be exactly something for Cullen, I would imagine. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, so your worship, my town of Valgamord has been res uh, besieged by Darkspawn. I cannot fathom where the loathsome beasts have come from, but I beg the Inquisition for assistance. My hu uh, my own humble forces have already been dispatched to help in our own noble efforts, uh, leaving my people ill-equipped against the savage host. Uh, word of your redemption of the Grey Wardens has already spread far. Please, if you can spare them, Valgamord lives or dies by your word. Yours, Marquis Buffon. <laughs> uh, the Grey Wardens are in the best... Uh, sorry, the Grey Wardens are in the best in the world against Darkspawn. Uh, this is their chance to shine. All right. Awesome. All right, so uh, we will be going to Empress de Leon very shortly, but... First, I'd like to go ahead and talk to Josephine again. Along with a couple other people. By the way, I bought um, a really cool weapon that seems to be very useful um, from a merchant. Actually, at Skyhold, now that I think about it. Um, it's called the Axe of the Dragon Hunter. It cost me 10,000 gold. But... It's pretty damn useful. It has a master dragon slaying rune. So should we ever want to fight a dragon, we have the exactly the thing for it. Now, um, apparently archdemon are dragons. Or perhaps they're just in their own class in it in it uh, in and of itself. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious as to whether or not that's its own sort of thing. Like if archdemon are also classified as dragons or if it doesn't matter. I don't know. But because... Blackwall now has that, because he's my most used tank, I would say. Um, Iron Bull has taken his weapon from him called the Glittering Darmal uh, Darmalin? Darmalin? Uh, it's probably Darmalin, which has a Corrupting Rune, which is pretty cool. They look almost identical. This one has a slightly darker complexion, but otherwise they're pretty much the same weapon. Just uh, one's a little, quite a bit more powerful than the other. Um, oh yeah, Josephine. I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevada. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. And the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. Hmm. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. To win her is the longer, richer game. What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentagast. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Nevada. As a Pentagast, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentagast, her interest in politics is best described as... thin. Why is the ruler of Tevinta turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Rodanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. I actually have relatives in Navarra. If you reason with the Archon, the Trevelyans can persuade King Marcus we should help both countries. Letting the Inquisition curry favor with both Tevinter and Navarra. Most ideal. See, I got this whole politics shit going on. I know what I'm doing. Right, uh... I actually forgot to speak to... I think it was Scout Harding? Uh, so I want to go ahead and talk to her real quick. See if I can handle that whole thing. Also, before... Just... I know I keep on putting it off, but before we go down to the whole Empress Dulian thing, I'd like to handle Varric's quest and see how that works out. Seems like it might be kind of interesting. What's been going on? Ambassador Montelier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. That's really interesting. Alright, bye. Anyway, so that was not interesting at all, actually. I lied to her. Uh, let's see. It would be in the inner circle. Somewhere. 
Well, shit, there it is. So Bianca says, uh, not to be confused with this crossbow, uh, Corypheus is getting his red lyrium from the Tig? Thy I don't know how to pronounce that. Hawk and Varric discovered years ago on their ex uh, expedition into the Deep Roads under Kirkwall. It may be possible to reach it using an entrance to the Deep Roads somewhere in the Hinterlands. So, enter Valimar. So, I guess we'll go to the Hinterlands again. Ugh. But we're doing it. Where is this located? Oh, okay, it's all the way down there. I might pick up that logging stand while I'm at it. Let's go! Oh, yeah, of course. Gotta pick people. Well, Varric, I think, is a pretty, ob uh, pretty obvious choice. I upgraded Bianca for him, the crossbow, this time. So hopefully that'll work out pretty well. And... Should we go with magic? I don't know. We're gonna go with Dorian on this, though. Because why not? Anyway, let's go. Okay, looks like we're here. Ah, okay, what level are these guys? Oh, they're easy. Shit. What the fuck was that? Some dick just stabbed me and like disappear right afterward. Does it look? It feels like that's what happened. Well, what's happening? Lesson Reese, looks like Carta. Lyrium smuggling would be profitable around here. Find to find a key to Velimar. Well, whatever. Finally, started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start talking to us. Why would the containers need to be protected? Lyrium is incredibly dangerous in its raw form. It can poison or kill dwarves. And we're resistant to it. Sometimes it just explodes. No warning. Basically, only crazy people mine lyrium. The mining cast doesn't just sling it into a bucket. It's carried in special containers that keep it under control. And that's normal lyrium. The red stuff is worse. I wouldn't be surprised if most of their miners die just digging it up. You seem to know more about the effects of red lyrium than most. Varric needed a save for his shard. I'm the one who built it for him. How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of deep roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the deep roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we need to find out a way to open the locked door. I don't know where this locked door is, but I, I'll find it. What was it for? Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. Ooh. We got a guy. Ah, oh, these guys are gonna be so easy to kill. This is hardly even gonna be a challenge. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Okay, I'm so confused as to what just happened. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Yeah, we're not doing that disappearing shit. Shit, I missed. Okay. Car to note on security. We should be secure enough for out uh, from outsiders. I'm more concerned about attracting darkspawn from the lower levels. We don't have the manpower to push them farther in. Uh, keep the product on the upper levels and barricade the bridge. I can oh. do that. Yes, he could. Do it. 
Words. Pitch grenade rep. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh oh. Masterwork firm pommel. Hey, I'll take as many schematics as you can give me. I don't care. I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't take inventory space, so it's all good with me. I keep on hearing very strange noises. Drake stone? Okay. I don't see what's so, so special about that, but alright, I got it. Climb down. Here's the thing. I don't know which way is the right way. I need to go back up or stay down here. It's not very good at giving me directions. Guess I'm just supposed to figure it out myself. Okay. Um, so that's the door. That's the locked door he was talking about. So I need to figure out a way to open it. So I'm guessing I need to find a key of some sort. Guess the question at this point is where? This place is ominous. Alright, so I need to go further down? Before I do that, I want to go ahead and check the rest of this upper place. Now, bear in mind, I haven't played Dragon Age Origins or 2. I, I have a, I, I know a little bit about both of them, but I haven't played either. So I'm not completely sure what the Deep Roads looks like. For some reason, the fact that I can still see the sky makes me feel like I'm not in the Deep Roads right now. But these are either they're clearly like at least dwarven ruins, but I don't know if they would be called the deep roads. So this is what you do now? Beg pardon? Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day to day? I usually try to avoid the caves. Now what's in here? Trading post. Defaced carta notice. Much of Valimar remains close to us. Anyone interested in changing that should meet here tomorrow, one hour past noon. So since it's, it's Valimar, I don't know if that's a part of the Deep Roads or if the Deep Roads is always called the Deep Roads. That that's why, like that's why I'm confused as to what this exactly is. But anyway, um, a series of notes has been scrawled below this notice. Stop wasting time on the da uh, that damn door. I don't care what's behind it. The mechanism's broken. More importantly, who cares? We have product to move, and you want to see if some ancient dwarf... Uh, or, wait. Oh, it's a question. Okay. And you want to see some ancient dwarf locked... Dwarf... Jesus Christ. Dwarf locked up the good tea set. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Um, we're shorthanded as it is. If I hear you've taken another group to the lower levels in search of gears, I'll make you sorry. Uh, that's from L. First of all, I think this place used to be a trade post. There should be something valuable behind that door. And just how will you make them or make me sorry? T. I'll use my imagination and knives. L. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading right now. It happens like every one or two videos. Uh, an angry note. First Liska, now Brenner. Caught him trying to steal some of the product, just a little bit, just to keep, he says. Nug shit. Fuck is a, a nug. Um, I'm trying to make a little extra on the side, thinking I wouldn't notice. I will not be undermined. Your cousin said we could trust Brenor, so you can handle it. If I'm not happy, you won't be either. What's in here? I don't need that. Yeah, since I'm taking on a bunch of like level 11 enemies, I imagine that I'm going to be getting level 11. Blah, Jesus. Level ele 11 items. I, I, it's not even that I'm having trouble reading. I'm having trouble speaking right now. Ah. Darkspawn. How many can we expect to encounter? Blackwall. It's hard to say. Keep your guard up. All right. A lot of these assholes. What do we have here? Carta, and they're both in pretty bad shape. Ah! No! 
Kill him. What are you? Level 12? Bitch. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stay away from that. One second. Okay. The vat room. Yeah, this is a bunch of bullshit. These guys will be easy. Ow. Uh, it's good though red. Wait, it's good though red. With the Templar severing ties to the Chantry, we should find buyers easily enough. It has to be the right buyer though. Don't want anyone who'll get ideas. We need to control distribution. If trouble uh, across Lake Kalanod is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been, f uh, have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source, the take could be huge. Once we have a firm grip on the current operation, we could look into expansion. Dwarven gear. Maybe that's what I need. Like, I just need to find a bunch of gears. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, I I'm confused. Anyway, kill that guy. I mean, you don't need my permission. You just kill him. Okay, so I need another gear. Ah, alright, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not reading that. I don't know, I think just in general, I'm kind of lacking the usual energy that I have. I'm not sure why. Hold on. Varric. We're facing level 11 enemies. The fact that you just had to use a potion is really sad. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Stop stuttering, please. Stop doing that. Or maybe I just need to get out of this area. That was an odd noise. What's in here? Huh. What's this thing? Oh, another dwarven gear. Perfect. Use the gears to open the vault. I want to go ahead and explore a little bit more. I don't have a, I don't have any reason to rush this, good sir. I'm gonna take my time. And you can't stop me. You have me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I've heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. Oh, shit. I don't know why I'm going deeper down. I just feel like I should. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're nothing. Ow! Fucking dick. Energize. Okay. Now it's down here. Can I, wait. What's his name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. 
That's not gonna happen. Even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A surfacer paragon? Never. Alright, now I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I need to apply the other gear up there to open this door. No? I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Ferrix told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. I guess it's a good thing you came along then. I get that a lot. After you. All right, well, hold on a second. We'll go back upstairs real quick. We haven't applied that gear yet. There could be good stuff in there. And there's an enemy. That was easy. I'm coming, Vat Room. One second. Right, okay, just one more gear. No problem. Use the gears to open the vault. What the hell? Oh, I have to turn both of them? That's... I don't know, I don't... I have four people in the crew! Why don't... No, whatever. Let's see what was worth hiding here. The Vault of Valamor. Return to the War Room to confirm the plan of attack. Ow! How the... Whatever. I don't know how that guy saw me, I was invisible, but whatever. Oh! Wow, you... I thought you were surprised. Who are you? Oh, you're nothing special. was that? Who do you think you are? Alright, I got six more mosaic pieces to find until I can do whatever the hell that is. Uh oh. oh that would have been really cool four levels ago. Whoa! Alright, no problem. We're fine. Keep on collecting that Drake Stone. Come on. Alright, fuck it. I don't care enough. I need more gears? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So this was the other way around. Gotcha. What's in here then? I think I just looked in here. Yeah. Alright, so what am I looking for here? I'm a little bit confused. Did I find what I was looking for? I am not sure. Hmm. This is odd. Dwarven Banner? No. Hold on a second. Let me go into quest real quick. Alright. Uh, I have no idea where it would be, honestly, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it would be in the Hinterlands? Yeah, no, I have no idea.
What? No, get off that. Did I just come from the right place? No, oh, yeah, I did. All right, then time to time to die, sir. So short, I can't even kill you. You know, this is almost fun. Kind of like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. Is that like a big guy? Or, well, you know what I mean. Ah, who are you? You look like... Yeah, you're a little bit out of, out of the ordinary around here. God damn it. Shit is going on at least. Maybe longer. Why? You'll have to stop by before Bogdan gets back. You should see my new workshop. I'll see what I can do. You know your family will kill me if I stop by, right? They're not gonna kill you. You always say that, and they always send assassins. Oh shit. It's a crazy family. What do we have here? Oh, we got a key. this entrance again. Bianca. You were the one who leaked the Tig's location. It's not like that. Not entirely. Shit. When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You've had people studying it for years now, and they've come up with nothing. I just... wanted to figure it out. How did you go from studying Red Lyrium to giving the location to Corypheus? I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive, or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden Mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this woman, Jonica. She seemed really eager to help with my research. So I gave her a key. Janica? The Warden who was trying to control Corypheus? Maker's breath. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. That name means something to you, Varric. She was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. She was more than a little obsessed with him. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right.
You told Varric you had a lead, so we'd straighten out your mistake. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Oh, for pity's sake, would you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. Fuck off, bitch. Okay, so I guess I need to go back to, uh... Alright, calm down. Jesus. I was gonna say, I guess I need to go back to Skyhold to speak with Varric, even though he's with me at the moment. I guess talking to him is impossible. Because reasons. See you guys in a second. I'm glad to have answers, but... Shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tig. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. I don't think anyone is equipped any better than you are. No, no, the point is... I don't. I don't deal with things. If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You realize that nothing has actually been stopping you from doing that. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. Let's go.